Andre Jordan tonight, nine points, 12 rebounds, two blocks. He has certainly seen a lot in his NBA career. Let's hear from the Nets center. Hey, DJ. Um, obviously, there's reaction from the public on the, the big news today, but what's the communication like in the locker room as, as you guys get the news, but you're also trying to lock in uh, for a game on the second half with back-to-back? Uh, I think that's just the thing. We were just trying to focus in on getting the win, uh, coming out and competing, um, extending this, you know, the way that we're playing and, uh, you know, getting everybody involved and incorporated. But, um, you know, it was good to come out here today and compete um, and get a win. Uh, you, uh, being a veteran, understand, you know, the business of the game, of course. You know, what is it like, though, and how difficult is it losing teammates, you know, along this NBA journey? Um, you know, it's tough, especially, you know, for some guys who this is their first, you know, time dealing with that experience. And, um, you know, they got drafted here, um, had a lot of great time here, uh, grew a lot as players, as, as, as young men here. Uh, but, you know, that's this is the tough part of the business that nobody ever wants to experience. But it is a reality. And uh, I, I wish those guys the best. Um, I, I, I had a lot of fun with those guys and uh, learning with them, from them, uh, grinding with those guys the past, you know, season and a half. It's, um, it, it's been a great ride. I wish them nothing but uh, success. Greg Logan with Newsday. And uh, DeAndre, I don't know if you care to share anything personal, but uh, did you have any conversation with uh, Karis and Jarrett in particular? I I talked to all of those guys. Um, you know, I'll keep those conversations private. Um, so hopefully you guys can respect that. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, DeAndre, you, you played for the Knicks not too long ago, so you know what it's like when Madison Square Garden has a, a full arena. Um, first, how would you characterize where the Knicks-Nets rivalry is right now, having just been on the other side not too long ago and now being uh, on the Nets? And two, just what's it like playing uh, at an empty Madison Square Garden, given the given what you experienced there in the past? Uh, it's definitely weird playing in an empty uh, garden. Um, you know, it, it's so much energy and, and excitement. The crowd is you know, electrifying, regardless of who they're playing, regardless of what their record is, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it's, it's one of the meccas of, of basketball as, as far as uh, arena's concerned and um, just the history of the Knicks, you know. And, um, you know, but, you know, we, I don't think that we're trying to look too much into rivalries. You know, if we're just trying to win New York, you know, within where our, our goals are very low, you know, no disrespect to those guys um, at all. Uh, but you know, every every team has a, has championship aspirations, and um, you know, I think that's 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 where our head is at. But we you know we just have to take it one game at a time, and this is a very important game, just like uh, the game last night was that we had. And um, but you know, I think that the the fans get a lot more um, play out of it than the players actually do. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, DeAndre. Um, I have two for you. First, you've played so many roles in your short time on this team, teacher coming off the bench, being a starter. Sometimes you said you felt a little bit old. Where do you see your role in this next iteration of the Nets? I never said that I felt old, Malika. Let's just start there. Um, you said that. Uh, I but, never said you were old. This is a feeling versus what you are. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I feel old. But I, my role's always the same. Uh, come out, compete, um, try to give us everything that I have on the defensive end. Um, get my teammates open as much as possible. Finish anything and everything that I get at the rim. Uh, communicate defensively, and uh, you know, just try to lead as much as I can. That's 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 my job on this team. Whether I start, come off the bench, play. 35 minutes or, or 13 minutes. That's just my, uh, <clears throat> that's my goal. I mean, that's my job and that's what I'm going to continue to do. And secondly, does, you talked about the, the, the one side of this trade, the other side is, is James Harden. What, what are your thoughts on that acquisition um, that is impending right now? Uh, you know, we all know the kind, the kind of player James is, you know, he, um, his, his game speaks for itself. But, um, you know, I think I'm going to wait until the, the trade is, uh, is finalized to, to comment more on it. 